justice, poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when join the move for empathy and blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them, I really want to know you all. Hey, you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO, or welcome to Taylor XO if you're a new subscriber y'all so everybody uh knows of my jazzy life well if you're clicking on this video then you know my jazzy life uh and everybody knows that um amaya is her middle child uh i think i think she's her middle child yeah she's her middle child and we all know that you know in the past you know it's been known that jazzy does treat amaya differently uh we've seen it in videos uh, and we've continued to see it for, you know, as long as she's been on this YouTube stuff. And, you know, people were speculating whether or not uh, Maya was going to get this birthday because, you know, in the past she has seemed to, you know, kind of not put too much effort into Maya's birthday. But, you know, then again, she will, uh, you know, kind of do a little bit better job for, you know, the other kids. So people were bugging her, you know, people were under her comments and her videos, people were in her lives, people were on the Instagram asking, you know, what are you going to do for Maya's birthday? Because, uh, you know, everybody knows that Caitlyn did have a recent birthday, a recent ninth birthday. And, you know, she did get a jump, you know, a jumpy water slide type thing, or I don't know if it was a water slide, but it was like a jumpy house and she did get, you know, at least some cake, um, some food and, you know, she had people invited over uh, to, to play with Kaylin. So, uh, oh, and Kaylin woke up to, you know, balloons and, you know, so she she did, uh, she did have a, you know, somewhat a decent birthday compared to uh, normally what the kids usually get. So people were wondering, you know, whether or not she was gonna have this birthday for Amaya and, uh, everybody knows that Amaya's birthday, I think, is on the, I'm not sure, I think it's on the 3rd or the 6th, um, something like that. Uh, and it's now, what, December 18th, 15th, something like that, the 15th. And she is just now putting out the video for Amaya's birthday. Now, people were, you know, wondering what was going on with the video you know, why Why was it taking so long for her to come out with Amaya's birthday? Did she even end up having it? Uh, so she did end up posting it. She did end up uh, posting the video. Uh, and it started out, uh, you know, that she gifted Amaya a huge dollhouse. You know, Amaya asked for a birthday cake in the prior video, uh, 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 a Barbie birthday cake. And she did end up getting a... Uh, Amaya the Barbie birthday cake and they have went out to kind of like a entertainment place arcade place and you know they had pizza her mom came uh and it's first thing that you know was kind of off to me was that she was sitting you know extremely far away from the rest of you know the kids I would think uh the kids and, and Chris I would think if you're the mother and it's your daughter's birthday you would be sitting kind of right next to her so when she sings happy birthday you're right there and she was kind of like all the way sitting in the back while Amaya was singing happy birthday now I don't know it was always like a kind of tradition in my family or just I always just thought like when you're when the kids start singing happy birthday you know you as a mom you're like right there you're you're holding them and you're right there with them to blow out the candle and sing happy birthday so that automatically has struck me as weird but I get it you're in a restaurant you don't want to stand up but at least just sit next to the girl you know while she sings happy birthday and um but Amaya seemed, you know, like she was grateful for her gifts. I know uh, her mother had bought her a little journal and, you know, something to uh, write with it or a little pen with it. And she got her, like, LOL dots. And Amaya seemed happy. And, you know, that's the thing. I don't want to really make this too negative. I do, you know, uh, I want to make it also positive because, you know, Amaya seemed to have, you know, a great birthday. And that's really all that matters. You know, at the end of the day, she's a child. And, you know, kids kids are grateful, you know, for the little that they have. It really doesn't take much, to, you know, to really please a child and you know I mean unless the child is just like extremely spoiled and always used to like big big extravagant things but you know when kids don't get as much too they're always you know more grateful for when they do get big things and that's kind of the good thing you know but it, it's a good and a bad thing but 
you know, my seem a very, very grateful. Uh, the following part of the video, uh, they went to an arcade. Chris was in there with the kids, and I guess, you know, Jazzy was back sitting back with the kids. I don't know if she was in the arcade or she was, like, elsewhere. I didn't hear him talk to Jazzy or... Um, anything which was kind of weird to me also like I understand she's with the baby but why wouldn't you just you know why wouldn't you kind of want to be there you know with your your child enjoying the day like she didn't sit next to her singing happy birthday she didn't you know go to the arcade to enjoy any games like okay well I understand if she's watching the baby but you know why couldn't Chris you know hold the baby for two seconds while she you know enjoyed a couple games with the with with the maya and i don't know if that happened off camera but all i know from what i saw in the video i didn't hear her see jazzy so i don't know where she was with the baby that's neither here nor there but um so the following uh other part of the video because you know it really wasn't that that much to react on uh, I mean, you know, they were in the arcade for a majority of time of the, the video and it seemed like the kids were enjoying their time. You know, you guys have you guys have to understand that when kids don't really get as much, you know, they're 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 happy with anything and you know that's kind of the good it's a good and a bad thing, but overall, um, you know, I'm glad that Amaya had a great time and for the second the third half of the, the, the last uh part of the video uh, they came home and I guess Chris, I don't know, Chris put the dollhouse together. I'm assuming he did uh, put it together. And, you know, the kids were all in the room and uh, seeing the dollhouse that Amaya got for, you know, I personally thought that the, the dollhouse was bought used. Um, I know a, a few people were saying that Jazzy has said that the gift was way more expensive than it actually was. Uh, and I, people looked it up and it didn't in fact only cost like $99 at Walmart, which it doesn't matter either way, but just sis, don't come on here and lie and try to make it seem like, you know, I guess to impress people even more like this is your child. This should be genuine things. This shouldn't be, you know, a, a thing to impress people. It should be something that's being done because you want to do it for your child. You love your daughter. This is not something for the reactors you know, to speak good on you on, to praise you about. This is to make your daughter feel special on her birthday. I don't know why this woman always turns this into something for, uh, you know, reactors to feed off of. And, you know, when this should be things for her kids, genuine love for her kids, this is not, it's just, it, it's very strange to me. But, um, but yeah, you know, my <clears throat> scene very very thankful for the gift whether or not you know it's used or not kids don't care about that and it really doesn't matter to me or not but don't try to you know play it one thing and it's a whole other thing that's just you know that's that's why i got me um but there really wasn't too much to react on other than the fact that you know amaya did enjoy her birthday uh and it's you know it's unfortunate that she couldn't do the Chuck E. cheese birthday with philip's family and uh, Jazzy, elect, well, that's what Jazzy has said, but I guess due to an aunt being sick, which, you know, a lot of people didn't understand why, you know, they couldn't end up throwing a birthday for uh, Maya at Chuck E. Cheese because one person was sick. I, the rest of the family wasn't sick, so I don't understand why that couldn't happen. But uh, either way, she enjoyed her birthday and, you know, she got her birth, she got her party that she w deserved, well deserved. And, you know, that's all that matters. I just wanted to come on here and do a quick reaction because I just didn't feel like a lot was really needed to speak on something, you know, so, you know, not really necessary to go all hard on. We all know the history behind Amaya and Jazzy, and that's why I'm just not really going to go too hard on it. Other than, other than the fact that I hope that Jazzy really, ch you know, changes, changes her whole demeanor and her whole everything towards that girl because that will backfire on her you know, in later years with Amaya, more than she thinks or not. But, you know, that's something that she has to live with, she has to deal with, and that's neither here nor there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are not to Taylor XO. And stay tuned for so much more content coming, you guys. Thank you, and stay tuned for the next one.